Oh, hey. Today's a good day. Today is a Goodwill Bins day. We're gonna go dig through some trash. We should be showing up right at the beginning of rotation. They're supposed to have closed down, restocked the store, and we'll be opening at noon. And it is 11.41, so we're gonna be good. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna go. The last couple times we've been to the bins, it's been a little slow, but I've got a good feeling right now. I don't know what it is. But I wanna find something awesome. Wish me luck. We are like fourth or fifth in line waiting to get in at the beginning of the rotation. So we actually have to wait for people to go shop and then leave and then we can hope to get in. It's actually a pretty new thing they're doing. They're giving out lanyards with numbers on it. You gotta have a numbered lanyard to get in the door. So we could be worse. We could be way in the back line. There's probably 20 people outside the door. And I'm, I'm fourth, fifth in line, Hannah's fifth, sixth. So maybe we'll get in before the rotation's over. If not, we're gonna have to stay for another one. But waiting's the name of the game right now. Hannah is, what did I say, 83? Yes. 83 and I'm 59. So we gotta wait for him to call us. And this camera's on 7%, so rip. Too much bends. So close. 49 and 3 and 99. Number 8 and 77. 90 and 16. 79 and 62. I'm gonna be last. This could be every number of me. Number 19, 55. 36. 48 and 71. 29. 100. That was almost my number. 54 and 14. Scooting up, scooting up. 33 and 59. Hey, that's me. Peace out. 67, 92, 22, 64, 96, 34, 45, number 12, number 9, 76 and 25, 39, number 2, 72 and 70. I'm going to be second to last 50, again. 57 and 83. Hey. 42. So the way that this works is that they called my number and they actually assigned me to a bin no matter whether I wanted it or not. You basically pick between clothes or like electronics or books. So I got stuck with a bin that just has a bunch of fans and vacuums that I clearly don't want. So I just gotta hang out here for like five minutes until they say you can go and then I can go find a bin full of toys. So that's, that's what this is all about. It's a new thing. All right, I got in and uh, it actually took quite some time. I waited about 30 minutes to get in. A lot of Nerf stuff in here. It's actually broken. Yeah, it's broken. All right, well, I'll take these parts. There's a bunch of Nerf darts in here as well. kind of crazy all the random stuff that's in here. I'll take that. Okay, so it took me quite a bit of time to get in. Dallas actually got in maybe like 10, 15-ish minutes before I did. So I stood there for a while, but um, I managed to get in and I found myself a bin full of vintage and I'm pretty excited to go through it. I found these already. And they're cute little like, um, I call them like vintage antique navy pants because they've got that like little flappy bit. The buttons are cool. But they're really cool. We'll start with that. I've actually found this bag full of toys. It's a mega block bag, but it's got like Nerf stuff in it. So much random stuff in it. And then in the bottom it actually has the blocks. I don't see anything in it I need. I just wanted to make sure. I'm not gonna buy the blocks. They're actually, they charge here by weight, $1.59 per pound. So it's actually cheaper at the regular stores to buy them, so. And then, 
That's a maybe. I don't find anything else. All right, check this out. This is kind of crazy. Um, I've been digging these Legos out of this bin. Two people, two people walked up to me and said, here's a bag full of Legos. And this one is a lot. So I've got a lot of digging to do to get them all out of there, but maybe I'll sit down there in the middle of the next rotation and just get them out. Also, this Care Bear seems super vintagey. Look for a year on it here. 1983, all right, well, we're buying the Care Bear. And here's another one. Jeez, same year. Oh my God. No way. This is crazy. I don't know if you've even been able to see me. Look at all this stuff in the way. These are all super old. These are all from the 80s. And because we had to wait in line to get in and get our lanyard, I don't have a lot of time. That is not one. And because we don't have a lot of time, there's so many. All right, well, I've found like 10, 15 1980s Care Bears. Really? Yeah, put those in the cart. And I haven't had a lot of time to dig because of course we won't line and then three different people have come up and wanted to chat because they, they watch the channel, which is awesome. <laughs> I feel like the popular kid in school right now. 15 more minutes. 15 more minutes, he says. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna make sure there's no more of this. I've been standing at this bin for 15 minutes talking to people, and I, because of that, I haven't looked at it. I just now realized there were so many Care Bears in it. The funny part about when people come up to us and say, hey, I watch the channel, I'm so-and-so, is that moments later, they usually tell me their YouTube name. <laughs> and I remember, like, I'm so bad at real names, but YouTube tags, like, I, I don't know, it's just we spend so much time doing this, I remember that. So like, I'm like, oh yeah, you're the guy that you... <laughs> That's funny. It's a gun belt, isn't it? It's really nice. You might should hang that in your antique mall. Oh my gosh, this sweatshirt reminds me so much of Pants. Pants loves to sleep on jeans. Oh, look at that. The little tag says meows. Aww. <laughs> There's so many toys here today. I guess we're gonna probably have to stay another round just because we got to it so late. All right, I don't see anything in these. That's probably the best thing I saw in the whole bin. One goosebumps, one load the more. Two goosebumps. No way. I just found a fat stack of goosebumps books for the first time in a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a stack. Wow, this is a beautiful blanket. It is so heavy though. Like this weighs an absolute ton. Oh, I love it, but oh, I just don't want to pay for it. It's gonna be really expensive. I made my own life a lot harder than it needed to be because I found Legos and someone saw me digging through them and two other people handed me bags full because they didn't want to mess with them, I guess. And so oh, it's Lego. Some of it, I was like, oh, this might be Mega Bloks. There's just so much Lego. And there's like a bag of minifigs in here. Wow. Uh, well, there's a bunch of loose minifigs but then there's a bag full and it appears to be maybe it's Pirates of the Caribbean. I was going to say with the many things, it's either Pirates of the Carib Caribbean, Caribbean. Which one do you prefer? I say Caribbean. I say Caribbean too. <laughs> and either way it comes out of my mouth, I feel weird about it. Um, but it's all, it's all Pirates of the Caribbean and not Lord of the Rings. I always, th I always know it's one or the other because they're kind of similar. Uh, but also like most of this trash bag inside of this trash bag I have, is like ship parts so, so cool. at one point the whole ship must have been here so i don't 
I think the whole base of the ship is in here, so that could be interesting. Uh, I just hope there's more good minifigs. I think that's the mast. But like, just look at this. It's just, it's, it, that, this bag is mostly Lego. This bag is Lego mixed with other stuff that I threw in as I was going, so. I either gotta buy it, go home and sort it, or I gotta stand here and sort it now. And being as we're gonna probably stay for another round now, I'm probably gonna stand here and sort every bit of it. So I got my work cut out for me. But even if I didn't find any of that, that's all Care Bear. How do you feel about that? That's so crazy. They're all super old too. Okay, so this is a beautiful Christmas sweater. And it's really just, it's just a piece of art. First you're like, Hannah, it just has some bears on it. It's about the collar, folks. It's got a little turtleneck with bears on it. Stargate SG-1, that's actually, that's like a big box. It's not metal, but wow. Okay, well, we're gonna have to grab that for now. That's really nice. I've never seen that before. I think it might all be there. I'm gonna have to dig around in this bin for a minute. So I was starting to think that this round was just a complete disaster, but oh my God. Adorable vintage shorts, adorable plaid vintage shorts, some Outback red vintage, and probably the coolest pair of jeans I've ever seen. That's high praise. Look at that. I'm so excited. This whole bin is nothing but CRTs. They're almost all Sony. I tend to buy these little ones sometimes when they've got VCRs on them or there's something that'll sell real well, but it's always a scary thing to do because they get knocked around here pretty bad. But like, it's a perfectly fine little CRT with a VCR on it. Might have to think about that. These book bins actually look all right because I'm seeing comic books. Ooh. Oh, yes. It's only like the second one of these I've ever found. Be good comic books. Come on. Oh, they're all torn up. The covers are torn off of most of them. Well, Jaguar is all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, carefully excavate these now. All right, well, not bad about that, but none of that's going to be Sonic Digest. Come on. Seriously. More goosebumps. There's a lot. Wait, there's Pokemon cards. What the heck is going on with these bins? Wait a minute. No. 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 I'm so pumped right now. I'm so pumped. All right. Well, there's, there's vintage Pokemon stuff. All right, I'm gonna have to spend some time in this bin. And I keep seeing goosebumps. This is getting out of hand. This is crazy. Yeah, this is nuts. Uh-oh, I think there's more comic books in here. What? What's happening? I'm just gonna get all this, and we're gonna have to... There's more comic books in here. I'm just gonna have to grab all this. We're gonna have to look at it. So this is... getting nuts. Ooh. And then there's more of this classic stuff, Spider-Man. Oh, there's just too much. I'm overwhelmed. Batman, these are vintage. The further I dig, the crazier this gets. There's just more and more vintage stuff. Jago. Wait, I keep seeing Mucky Ford from Power Rangers logo. Oh, uh, look, this is colored in. Still gonna buy it. Still. I gotta get to the bottom of this bin. And right here is why you gotta get to the bottom of the bin. There's just Pokemon cards all over the place. Super dope. Super dope. Oh, there's just more and more. Maybe there's a source. Maybe there's a place they're all coming from. Oh, baby. 
best bins they ever, at least in a long time. I wouldn't say it's my best bin haul ever, but I'd say it's top 10. It's getting there. I see a game. All right. No complaints. Can't leave a Pokemon card behind though. That's against the rules. So, oh, there's another one. Ooh, let's see a hollow. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No Pokemon left behind. There's something over there with Hulk on it. <laughs> Flex magazine. That checks out. All right. There's so many comic books in here, but they're all torn up. I almost never see one of them. We're gonna double check all of them as to not make any mistakes. All right, this is the last little bit in this bin. Sealed NBA 2K19, I'll take it. And then, <laughs> oh no. So that's weird, but I just spotted more balloons. Uh, okay. Well, at least they're there. At least they're in there. All right. Trash bag full of games at the bottom of the bin. I'll take it. That. good on this. And then this right here sells on eBay for quite a bit. Stargate box set. And it looks complete. You know what? It may not be. Because look, here's one box of DVDs. So there's a lot of DVDs in there. Okay. But then look. This box looks empty. Maybe I'm just tripping. No, oh, they're in there. Down. Oh, it's just upside down. So we're good. They're all, they're all there. So that's 60, 70 bucks. I don't know that we'll list it on eBay. This definitely looks like something that one of my antique malls would sell pretty quick. I've sold this kind of thing before. I'm gonna do some further inspection. I'll check the discs and stuff, but I don't mess with DVDs almost at all. But if it's real nerdy stuff that'll go in our antique mall with little effort, I'll do it. All right. Traffic is pretty bad outside our bins. We're kind of stuck because there's a car flipped over right there behind that white van. Kind of difficult to see, but that's the bottom of that car. That's wild. In all seriousness, that was one of those once in a month, maybe every few months, Goodwill Bins hauls. Uh, and you, I almost wish we regularly shared how much we spent at the bins just so I could put some context to today's haul. I would say our average bins visit is like the average 40. Cause there's plenty of days it's 15 20 there's plenty of days it's 50. yeah right and it's not usually over that but we spent 80 bucks today because it was it was a car full a cart full mountain on top of the cart not just full to the top it was wild i got a bag full of, you got a bag full of clothes yeah i got a bag full of bears <laughs> and then two more bags full of other nonsense so why don't you start ripping pieces out of there that are worth talking about? I'm sure you got some stuff that's awesome and then some stuff that's just nonsense, regular blue jeans. Right. This whole bag is bears. <laughs> what do you got? I was just laughing at your bears. It's goofy. Well, I might also add you threw this in my bag. Why did you buy this? I don't know. It's a gun belt. It's cool though. I think yeah. I'm gonna put it in my antique mall booth. Yeah, our, our antique malls will eat that up. Well, I did get a bag full of uh, Levi's to be able to cut and sew together, which is always a good thing. A buddy of ours, Oscar, handed me these. They are some pretty cool distressed Levi's. Oh, thanks, Oscar. It, they are missing their front button, though, so I'll just need to throw a new button on that, and that's no big deal. They're distressed anyway. This was in the back pocket. I also ripped some patches off of a, like, really ugly vest. Oh, very nice. They were already coming. They were hot glued onto the back of it, because that's usually how it goes. That's right. Well, I don't know if I should show these bears all at once, or we should take turns. <laughs> You're just going to show a bear? I'll show a piece of clothes. Yeah. Show a bear? Well, <laughs> one bear. And mind you, every single one of these I looked at had a 
1984, that might actually be different. 1980s for sure. 1984, 1983, so around the same era. So there you go. Comment below if you know these guys' names, because I sure don't. That there is a raccoon. <laughs> now that you say that, I see it. It's a raccoon. <laughs> well, there you go. That might be our new mascot. What do you else? Say, do you say raccoon or do you say raccoon? Well, I say raccoon, but I'm sure if I were in Kentucky right now, we were talking about that there raccoon. Raccoon. <laughs> that's probably more. I don't. Th I don't say raccoon, but raccoon. <laughs> that's probably right. A little '90s genealogy dress. I like genealogy brand a lot. I think it's kind of. They've got some cute like colors for denim that are really nice. Pink Bear, 1983. There's people walking in front of a van right now that think I'm just showing them Care Bears. <laughs> they don't, look at my Care Bear. They don't see the camera. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wish we had a front facing camera right now. It was funny, she was real confused. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that man just going? <laughs> I don't want your bear, sir. Um, I hit a bin full of just really awesome vintage jeans, so. I'm very excited about all of these. There's not any that are any particular brand that I'm really excited about, but they all have that look of just really cool and really different. Oh yeah, that's Depop 100%. Hundo. 1983, uh, yeah, it just, they, they're they all pretty good shape. You can kind of tell the hair is frizzy because it's all dried out, uh, synthetic or whatever, and uh, or it might be ammo. It's all very old, it's all Taiwan. The ones I looked at so far are all from Taiwan in the early 80s so far. Is he sticking his tongue out? He seems to be. I thought maybe that raccoon was. It's got a little blip there for the tongue. A little blip. That one does too. That's how it goes. All right, what else? Um, Cute little vintage plaid shorts. Very nice. This one has the same tag as that last one, although he's built way different. But they've got slightly different tags so far. Um, Again, just a little dirty, but worth the effort. We've got one of our antique malls. I've sold tons of uh, Care Bear stuff. I keep trying to say like my little bears. Um, so I've sold brand new bears there, 10, 15 dollars a piece, whatever. So I'm feeling like I haven't looked these up yet. I just know they're going to be worth it. But I feel like they, these could be pretty good price individually. I remember we sold Care Bear soap dispensers there too. It was just very random. Full of soap and like vintage. So well. And very vintage, yeah. And board games, you name it. I actually have the same pair of shorts in a different brand at home. I sold the white version of them. I still have the black ones. Well, I got a double on the raccoon, so. <laughs> raccoon. Oh, these are so cool. These are Outback Red brand. Look at all that detailing on the waistband, the little belt loop going on there. And you got the back has like it's cool stitching going on. I'm learning a lot as I go through these. Um, this next one's 83 as well, and it has the same body style as one of those other ones. And I just noticed it said Kenner. It has the, you're not gonna see it too well on this camera, but it's got the big Kenner logo on it. And I looked at those closer. They all say Kenner, but just in standard script text. Huh. But this one has the Kenner logo on it. Interesting. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. A little pair of acid wash vintage shorts. I'm just really showing you all the stuff that was in that one bin. It was all really good. Again, 1983. Some of them are kind of derpy, you gotta admit. Vintage Bugle Boy. And these are teensy size, which is really exciting. Um, small sizes are harder to find and sell really well. I look so ridiculous to the people walking by. It's so great. I wish you were here with us to see this. Uh, again, 1983, 1983. This is a double, uh, but that's nice. Some of them feel so thick. Uh, but yeah. For a minute, I thought his eyes looked very dark as, as his soul. I mean, some of them look a little derp. Some of them look a little evil. This is interesting. Yeah, I showed you this because I was very excited about it. Well, this isn't the first time in the last couple weeks you've found something with this kind of coloring on it. So I did. I found a pair of Xena shorts, which is a brand that I knew of. <laughs> I know it's funny. Right. But 
Um, I knew of those before. I'd seen them on Depop or other people have found them and I've seen them on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, if I could ever find those shorts, I would just lose my mind. And I did. Right. And they were my size, so I will not let go of those. But um, this is not Xena brand. These are by Rio. And they actually have like little um, paisley flower fabric in there too, which is really cool. Yeah. It's just, this is just really cool. Once again, Depop, you're going to post those. People are going to be like, oh my gosh. Like $75 sold. <laughs> I don't even know how to begin to tell you what I got in my other two bags. It's, it's kind of insane. Um, so why don't you just finish off telling us what you got that's special? And then I'll kind of just fly through some of this and hit the highlights because there's no need for you to see every inch of it. Because it's just insane. Um. I will show these off. These are pretty cool. And I kind of showed it earlier, but you couldn't really tell what they look like. But these, they're like that um, antique sailor short kind of Oh yeah, look. The, the whole flat. The, yeah. yeah, but they're newer and they're like a wide leg. I just feel like somebody's really gonna like these. Yeah, what else did you get? Um, a little pastel windbreaker. Very Ma nice. Is that the thing you wanted to say to them because it matches my Care Bears? No. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. Which is funny, it matches these Bill Blash oh. pants pretty well. Be a nice outfit. Um, and the rest I've got are just color blocks. Just the usual, just usual jeans. Okay, well this bag is full of Nerf parts and Lego. Uh, and really the only interesting part about any of it is a bag full of mini figs. Mostly Pirates of the Caribbean and a couple of random others. Like there was a bat, a Batman. But I think it was Lego Movie Batman. Not that that's not the same as all the other ones, but it just, I thought that because I think also Wild Style, those other ones are in there. So it'll be a nice little flip that'll more than pay for today. Uh, Stargate SG War, it'll almost pay for today. I think it was like 70 bucks or something we saw. Yeah. And uh, I ended up picking that up last second as we were out the door. One stack of Goosebumps books. They stand out so beautifully. You just pulled them out and you're like, hello, my Goosebumps. Skills. <laughs> uh, and that was one of two bags of craziness. This one's even more nuts. Um, there's The only thing I really found today that I'm going to collect myself is in here. We'll see if we can get to it. But a whole bunch of games. Pirates of the Caribbean, Assassin's Creed. Oh. Forgive me for that one. Uh, <laughs> another stack of books, which I'm probably going to put in this bag. Another, they're all goosebumps. I mean, like, look at that. Look, I pulled out that first stack, and you're like, oh, that's a nice stack of goosebumps. And then this is a whole other stack. And then sealed NBA 2K19. I couldn't believe it was just sitting there sealed. Um, As it should be. Yeah. Battlefield 3, Call of Duty, uh, Halo, just the books were nuts. Call of Duty, goosebumps. Call of Duty, ooh, more Pokemon cards, which hey. I'm not gonna show you the Pokemon cards, they're already put away, but like we got a big stack of them, Game Party. None of these games were terribly exciting other than the fact that, you know, I got them out, out of there with them for like 10 cents, so that's pretty cool. A couple comic books, a lot of those comic books that you saw me pick up were these like, not terribly valuable remake, reprint of really old Spider-Man comic books, but I did leave with basically all the Superman ones, and there's a few that I actually remember having when I was a kid. Uh, and then, of course, I left with the full-on Spider-Man cards, uh, comic books that weren't like those cheaper quality reprints. But that pretty much leaves me with the most exciting thing I got today. And this is pretty much going to be my find of the day. I keep finding more Goosebumps books. They're but everywhere. I've got so many of them, but they're selling okay in our antique mall. So when I find them there, you know, we pay practically 10 cents for them. So. That's a really good flip, selling them two or three dollars a piece. Because the first ones I got that we sell at our antique malls, we were paying a dollar twenty-nine for. The profit wasn't as big, but I got a stack of uh, mostly Honey Bear, but not all of them. Some Honey Bear and some golden coloring books. So these were coloring books that I very much so would have bought for a dollar at the dollar store when I was a kid. This yeah. is what my parents would have bought me. Uh, we'll save the best for last. I mean, I can't even do that. They're all they're all good comic book. Spider-Man. Some of these were colored in and some weren't. So like the Spider-Man one has a little bit, but it's just from such a specific era. Hannah, you want to take a guess of when they were? I'm going to go 1994. So close. Oh. 95. Dang it. 95 on the Spider-Man. These might all be 95 because they were probably bought around the same time. 93 for Dalmatians. I didn't really need to buy that Dalmatians one. I just couldn't help myself. 
uh, but two different Batman ones. This one's a Golden Books. You want to guess the date on this one? I'm going to go with 1997. You want to try again? It's the year you were born. 92? Really? Yeah, 92 wow. that. Yeah, the animated series was a little bit older probably than you think. It's also the year our truck was born. It's also the year this, this fan was born. Uh, 92 for this Keaton Batman one as well. These things are, I think they're so collectible because the last two is proof of this. If it's something you collect and you can get them to put on your shelf, these are going on my Power Rangers shelf so hardcore. And actually, since I'm keeping them, I'm actually kind of excited that they're colored in. I don't, you'll have to comment below and let me know if anyone feels like that. Like this kind of thing for collecting, why not have it be one that's colored in? You're not gonna, you know, unless you were super hype about coloring it yourself. I always love looking through coloring books because you can tell the ones it's like, oh, a kid definitely did that oh, one. Yeah. Oh, their parents did that one. <laughs> right, you can tell the one they took turns, one page on one side of the open book is good and the other one's scribbled. Yeah, I'm very happy about these. One is the movie and one is just regular old Power Rangers. Uh, this one's my favorite. And this one's not as colored in, but it's definitely colored in. They're like, oh, Blue Ranger. It's blue! Yeah. <laughs> That's my fight of the day. What's your favorite thing you brought home today? Oh, those jeans, hands down. The, these babies. My heart stopped when I found them. I was just like, yes. yes. Yeah. Will you guys comment below, let us know what your favorite thing that we brought home today was. And then before we get out of here, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, help us get to 10,000 subs. We're well on our way. And I'm really excited to get there. Uh, also, we post daily videos on this channel. So definitely come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And until then guys, peace out.